In this video, you will insert, explode, alter geometry, and redefine a block definition. Then you will learn how to edit blocks in place so that you can save time performing these same steps. Open the Plumbing 3 project file. I'd like to change this emergency hand pump block so that it appears cyan like all the other plumbing fittings. Select the block reference and look at the properties panel. It says the color is set by layer and the layer that it's on is cyan. So what's wrong? You might assume that it should appear in cyan. What's actually happening is the objects inside the block definition were on the plumbing layer, which is green. So they're not inheriting the properties of the layer that the block reference is on. To solve this problem, what we need to do is insert another copy of the hand pump off to the side someplace, explode it, change the objects to layer 0, and then redefine the block. I'll press Escape, and then insert the hand pump. OK. I'll click a point over here someplace, and click again to insert the rotation angle. Then. I'll explode this block, turning it into its constituent pieces. Then select all the pieces and change their layer assignment to zero. Layer zero is the only layer that lets geometry inherit the properties that the block reference goes on to. Next, create a new block definition up here. And if you want to redefine an existing block, you have to use exactly the same name. So let's select that here from the list, hand pump. I need to specify the base point, and this should be in the same place as it was before. It's right here at the base. We also need to reselect the objects. And then click OK. It says hand pump is already defined as a block in this drawing. Would you like to redefine this block reference? Yes, we do. Click Redefine Block. There we go. Mission accomplished. Now there's actually a quicker way to do this sort of thing. It's called editing a block in place. For example, let's say we want to change the way that this T looks. I don't like the way that these lines stick out so far from the piping. What if I brought that in and made those lines a little smaller? I'll select this existing block reference, right-click, and choose Edit Block in Place from the Context menu. Then click OK here in the Reference Edit dialog box to indicate that you want to edit this T block. Notice that everything else gets dimmer so that you can focus on working on this geometry within the block definition. I'll zoom in, and then use the Scale command, scale this line down from this end point. I'll type a scale factor of 0.5, Enter, so it gets to be half as big as it was originally. And then I'll do the same here on this line, 0.5, and once more on this line. 0.5. Now I'm done. I have to come over here and choose Save Changes. Click OK. And all the T blocks have been automatically updated with the change. You learned both how to redefine a block by name and how to edit a block in place. Now you know two methods for altering blocks so that you can control many block references from a few block definitions.